According to a report by the Department of Justice, Maine is lacking in community-based programs that address mental health problems in young people. In response to that report, the behavioral health nonprofit Sweetser launched the Child Act program earlier this year. So it's currently the only one in the state, and they're working to fill gaps in care for people ages 5 to 20. News Center Maine's Leanne Stapleton explains how the program works. Child Act Services has been a missing component of our continuum of care for, well, a little over 10 years. Wendy Anders is a part of the Child Act program at Sweetser. It was a service that the state of Maine did have that thrived, um, but then due to some budget cuts had to um, and ACT stands for Assertive Community Treatment. It consists of an interdisciplinary team that includes a clinician, case manager, family support specialist, and nurse practitioner, and they take the treatment to the client in their own home or another comfortable setting. Taylor Paquin is the clinical team lead. She likes this model of care because it's not just the child putting in work. When they discharge, they're going back into an environment where maybe things haven't really changed. Um, and so I think it's so important for the family to be doing work alongside of their children um, to make that change and to be able to sustain their progress. As for program qualifications, Anders says it's for youth who have tried less intrusive forms of treatment and require extra levels of care. Like therapy, case management, the HCT model, which is a home and community treatment model with a smaller interdisciplinary team. Not able to be safely managed in the community. Uh, they tend to be uh, in and out of uh, hospitals or in and out of emergency rooms and um, you know, a lot of crisis calls that they're, that they're just not able to be safely managed at home and uh, they're not really residential level care. Andrew says the ACT team must meet with families at a minimum of three times a week. It must include at least one clinical contact during that week and then over the course of the month at least one nurse practitioner contact. But regardless of the time of day, Paquin and the team are on call 24-7. We always have someone available for families to call for in-the-moment crisis support. Um, so I think that's been pretty helpful for our clients and families already too because we're getting on the phone with them. We're coaching parents, sometimes coaching clients. Leanne Stapleton, News Center, Maine. 13 people have enrolled since the Child Act program started accepting clients in March. In fact, there's a wait list right now. Andrew says as the team continues growing, they will eventually be able to see as many as 50 clients. Right now, services are offered for families within a 25-mile radius of Saco. Sweetser hopes to open more programs across the state.